Hello my dear students, how are you all? So welcome to Diksha Karnatka YouTube channel. I hope all of you are doing good. So uh, today is, uh, I've taken a very important session. As you can see the title itself, Kset Maths Top 15 Tricks. Okay. So yes, uh, this is not all of it, but I've tried to take 15 very important tricks across the chapters. I've taken total of four chapters today. Okay. So we'll see those tricks. Uh, as I keep saying to all of you, yes, uh, most of the qu times questions in the case set are where you have to solve a couple of steps. Yes, you have to read the problem, solve one or two steps, then the tricks work. Okay, but here, these questions that I've taken over here, these 15 tricks are direct tricks. Means if you can see the question of this format, then of course you can apply these tricks. Okay, so as I said, first thing you should know because I want to be very honest with you. Yes, question in the case set will be very easier if you solve couple of steps and then uh, if you can do those steps in your mind very good for you uh, that can happen only because of the practice but if you have done that first two steps are done and then you can apply the tricks but here as you are all requesting for this particular session I am here to deliver the 15 most important most relevant tricks for KSET mathematics okay so let's start so if you see the first thing we have derivatives over here the first one is derivatives sir okay now uh, please check so in this part derivatives have taken total of three important tricks first one you can see this is very 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 relevant trick extremely relevant trick isn't it we uh, see these questions a lot of times okay sometimes we see in the form of derivative sometimes we see in across you know different types of calculus uh, problems we are getting okay so we have to do you know uh, even in integration we have seen a problem right uh, if you were a part of a, a case at test series you would have seen a question like that where there was a, a quotient tool uh, uh, derivative inside the integration okay so we see all of that problem uh, and we know that it becomes very hectic at times right because to do all the integration sir and we have to you know we have variables in the numerator and denominator and makes sometimes a lot of mistakes are, can happen so whenever you have quotient rule involved and the form is of this kind please check ax plus b px plus q then simply you can find derivative as determinant of the coefficient a b p q divided by px plus q the whole square px plus q the whole square now this is again a very relevant formula haven't isn't it please check haven't we see, seen a lot of questions on this we apply log on this problem to get the question done right so and uh, remember this will become 1 by y this is nothing but y only right so this is the formula when you have y equals to function f to the power function g what you do is simply write f of g uh, f power g and then g times of f dash by f plus same function whatever is here you'll write log of that and plus g dash okay into sorry not plus into g dash log of f into g dash forgive me for saying plus what we have this also is a very relevant form of der derivative whenever you have implicit function what is this sir implicit form one of the implicit forms we have okay whenever we have this kind of questions involved uh, and is going to be given like this x power m is there y power n is there and x plus y power m into n is there we can write simply derivative as y by x y by x this is our three tricks for your derivatives Chalye? let's see Achha, for all of you who want to solve different type of questions for your case examination please take abhyas case test series okay it's going on at 1498 this you're going to avail at 1498 uh, 99 was including the pu2 uh, test series as well so 98 you can purchase this you'll get 35 tests in that okay and you have very important uh, so if you see here in maths you have 11 tests okay so 11 tests each will have 60 questions so many questions you can solve different varieties you can solve other than pyq as well and you'll get the confidence that yes you have solved so many problems you are prepared for the examination so please take the abhyas case test series right now if you have some you know if you are somebody who has coming for the first time for this channel if you have missed out on that please make sure that you are somebody who has taken abhyas case set it is going to be the best tool best decision that you have made for your case examination you can see easily your rank will improve so much by taking the abhyas case set and again if you are somebody who's you know also thinking about comet k crash course then yes we are coming up with comet k crash course as you were all expecting uh, this thing from us so uh, we have you know designed this course in such a way that you'll get total of 12 mock tests even in the part of comet k crash course you'll get complete syllabus coverage of 11th and 12th five year question uh, pyqs you're gonna get and you get live doubt, uh, doubt clarification sessions class notes recorded revision all at a price of one triple nine right now it's offer price launch price uh, if you actually uh, see the total price will be six thousand rupees right now reduced to one dot one triple nine please make sure that you're somebody who has taken comet k if you are writing comet k you'll not find a course this relevant this you know beautifully designed 
and uh, our team will deliver it for all of you okay so please make sure that you purchase abhyas and comet k both let's get back to the second set of tricks uh, on the limits yes again very helpful yes or no can be used in trigonometry problems can be used in determinant problems can be used in uh, even in derivatives okay checking for the continuity and differentiability questions okay so limit is very very important chapter all right now if you check the limits I have taken total of check here 1 2 3 so first three we already did so 4 5 6 7 the number continues okay 1 to 15 so we have here 1 2 3 4 5 total your uh, tricks over here please check whenever you have x tends to 0 limit and you have the form 1 minus cos 1 minus cos why this is very simple because if you remember it will come 2 sin square ax by 2 like that remember 2 cos 2 sin square bx by 2 we have a square term means we need the square of a and b that's why the answer will become a square by b square correct now so if you have this kind of form answer will be simply a square by b square okay now uh, for whenever you have x to the infinity case x to the infinity we have okay and we have polynomials uh, in the function please check if you have this degree same if you have this degree same 2 2 same goes with 3 3 okay same goes with 3 3 or any other degrees okay if you have this degree same answer will become bacha, the coefficient of a and p if i had for a third degree you'll have again this also as a by p the quotient of the x square in the numerator is a and the, in the x square in the denominator is p i am writing it as a by p when whenever we have same degree or similar degree case okay in the numerator and denominator highest degree same highest basically degree no that's the calling that's the basically i can write it same highest index actually index same highest index or basically i can call this as degree only no actually that's how we define degree same highest index if you have you write this as a by p now if you have this value less than this value means the degree of the numerator is less than degree of the denominator what is the what is the answer answer will be zero how sir think about it divide by x cube to the both the terms you'll have one by x over here right you'll have one by x over here don't you remember one by x okay if you take x as infinity you'll become so one upon one by zero will become so simply zero Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So if you have a degree in the numerator less than degree in the denominator, you'll have answer as zero. Whereas if you have next uh, trick, but if you have degree in the numerator more than degree in the denominator, will become infinity. Got it? No. You'll have one x left, right? So when x tends to infinity, it'll become what? But it'll become simply infinity. Okay. So I'll just erase this extra part. Correct? Okay. Moving on now. Again, you can get this uh, sheet for uh, session, the PDF of the session uh, on the tricks in the WhatsApp channel itself. If you are somebody who wants the, uh, this PDF, please join the WhatsApp channel. If you have already joined, don't worry. We'll provide this trick sheet in the WhatsApp channel. Okay. So please check next chapter is integrals. Okay. So this sir is not part of integrals, no sir. It's part of trigonometry. Why here? Because I can make a question on this. Okay. If I make like this, let's say e power log okay yeah e power log same thing okay or i can write this this will become the answer will be x okay or i can write e power simply that part it'll become answer will be x e x e okay so my idea is this series is very important similar kind of question can be asked basically use of complementary functions use of complementary ratios Please check. Very important. Okay. Very relevant to you. Tan 1 into tan 89 will become 1 because tan 89 is nothing but cot 1. So tan 1 into tan 89 will be 1, sir. Okay. Tan 2 with tan uh, 82, 8 will become again 1. And same goes till tan 44 and tan 46. It will become one more time 1 and tan 45 is already 1. Okay. Sometimes it becomes equal to 0 also. If you have cos, uh, what you get? Cos 90 is there. Sin 0 is there like that. Okay. So use of those angles. Okay. So please check. Very relevant to you. Ninth one is again a trick. Can be used in differentiation. Can be used in uh, questions of relation and function. Anything can be used. Okay. This kind of series can be used. Bacha. Similar series can be expected this year as well very important how can we solve this question use of complementary ratio and the special angles sine when is zero cos when is zero remember that whenever you see this kind of this kind of you know series right look when uh, is something becoming one or zero or not something becoming one or not here sir tan 45 was one 
hence till 1044 and 1046 was making complementary pair yes or no so please look for special angles sin 0 is there or not we have uh, uh, cos 90 or not yes if it is there it will become 0 like that you have to check the result okay Chali. so 10th one very very important very relevant to us sir this is like you know mantra only this will come okay we have seen this kind of question in your boards as well right so this is a partial fraction yes so what we're going to do in this whenever you have this form right a minus b and log of x minus a upon x minus b plus c that's straight uh, if you have straightforward this kind of form this is your result okay no need to solve anything just write in this form remember and write this form okay now uh, 11th one uh, if you have integration given like this my favorite uh, formula my most important i'm telling you one question on this will come for sure you can say question leaked also for this part okay this is a must question sir in your case of examination a must must question i can keep making the stars very important question what is it sir please check if you have of integration this form 0 to a okay fx upon fx plus gx is there okay and f of a minus x is nothing but gx even if let's say this form is not there even if this form is not there something else is there doesn't matter but if you have this condition true f of a minus x is gx and g of a minus x is fx when this is true your answer will become so please check your answer will become i equal to a by 2 what is a sir limit difference basically a represents limit difference a minus 0 what, what it means is upper limit minus lower limit by 2 will be your answer it can be a question of trigonometry also it can be a question of trigonometry can be a question of logs all will be applicable for this the function can be function can be a polynomial function function can be a trigonometric function can be a logarithmic function also this property will is good for everything okay i just removed some extra stars okay it looks very uh, messy so i just take that out okay we don't need it i want you to have a clear information about all these questions very very relevant to us but very very relevant to us these extra things i don't need okay Chali. so this is very important okay understand this upper limit minus lower limit by 2 so upper limit is a minus 0 will be a only a by 2 is the answer okay so third uh, integration again very important uh, result that we need for integration all of these three are extremely relevant to us extremely relevant to us moving on now we have two more in uh, your uh, tricks in integration we don't have this much of uh, if you see the pyq you don't know you don't have these questions coming over here but this was there i wanted to show share with you anyway okay please check trick number 12 sir what we have if you have the condition like this integration of x times of x power n plus 1 answer will become simply 1 by n log of x power n upon x plus n plus 1 of course there will be a constant c all right okay same goes if you have a form like this this kind of question can be asked not asked so far but can be repeated now yes or no please check tan uh, power n and plus tan power n minus 2 dx equals to 1 by answer will become simply 1 by n minus 1 n is over here please check Achha, one bonus i want to give you one bonus what is the bonus bacha? this formula if you have this kind of question e power x fx i know it's a formula only but it is very 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 important formula nothing goes more important than this formula questions coming on this for sure answer will become simply e power x fx e power x fx this is very important formula it's a bonus trick it's not a trick actually it's a formula a standard formula we have in ncrt but very relevant for our examination okay so remember this formula as well okay a bonus one 13 is done 14 now so aoi please check in aoi we have two formulas if you're looking for a parabola and line is given you're looking for area between them what are you going to do simply write area equals to 8 a square upon 3m cube find a from here find m from here answer will be 8 a square upon 3m cube as simple as that if you have two parabola forms what is that sir symmetric about uh, yes x-axis here symmetric about y-axis this is symmetric about x-axis or y-axis okay this is horizontal this is the vertical parabola okay great so the answer will become so simply 4a into 4a by 3 4a into 4a by 3 answer will be for area between the two parabola will be 4a into 4a by 3 please check okay so this completes our tricks uh, all 15 tricks plus one bonus trick that i've given you okay for the session on ksat 
टॉप फिफ्टीन ट्रिक्स अगेन आई कीप रिपीटिंग एवरी टाइम बच्चा प्लीज डोंट रिलाय जस्ट कंप्लीटली ऑन दिस ट्रिक्स ओनली आई हैव टॉट यू इन सो मेनी सेशन लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स आर गोइंग ऑन राइट नाउ आई हैव सॉल्व सो मेनी क्वेश्चन फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड आफ्टर सॉल्विंग कपल ऑफ स्टेप्स यू माइट बी एबल टू यू नो विजुलाइज द आंसर ओके दैट इज अ बेटर ऑप्शन बिकॉज इन मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन नो यू गेट टू डू दैट एंड रिमेंबर इफ यू रिमेंबर द फॉर्मूलाज द प्रॉपर्टीज एटलीस्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव क्वेश्चन विल बी डन वेरी क्विकली because they are easy questions na so 25 questions you can solve very quickly if you remember all the formulas so with this uh, portion of my end the session today i hope to see you again very soon till then take care bye bye